Ciao beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a fabulous weekend and are you ready for a fabulous week? As you watch this video, me and Jamie are in Italy. Yay! So of course this video has been pre-recorded and pre-filmed and scheduled. So you guys are not going to miss me <laughs> while I'm away. Um, so of course we will be back. So when you watch this video, we'll be back on a Sunday. Okay, so I think is it the 7th? Or July, something like that. So we are in Italy from Friday to the following Sunday. And just to spend some time with my family, my friends, just have a look if we get some news by the house. And just, just to relax, guys, just to switch off everything and everybody. <laughs> and just to relax and just have some time together. Because um, me and Jamie didn't have a day off for about six weeks together so um it just be nice to just spend some time together so today i'm very excited uh because i have a couple of new kits on my website um and i'll show you in just a minute where to find them so the first kit is called 1930s advertisements so i got my hands on uh, some uh, newspaper a British newspaper from 1933-1934 so um, cost me a fortune but never mind um, of course they are copyright free and um, I selected some of the advertisements that I really really like and I thought you guys might want them as well so um, uh, oh, this has been printed twice I just noticed never mind put it one side so what i did i simply cut them guys and scanned them okay and slightly altered um it's quite a lot of editing in here <laughs> it's a lot of work what you guys don't see there is a lot to work behind the design on every kit and i hope you guys appreciate that so um yeah so i've got a selection it's very fair it's, it's a big kit it's like one in fact let me show you the paper one by one really quickly so it's one it's all different sizes, uh, two, three, four, look at that cheeky little boy, five, and some pictures, six, love that, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh I missed two. I missed two. Why did I miss two? Unless this, is this the same page? Yes, it's the same page. I'm missing two. Where did I put them? Did I print? Unless I didn't print them. Anyways, there's 13 pages in total. Let me find, let me show you where to find this. Okay guys, so this is my website. This is literally the homepage. I've got three new kits done for you one which is we're gonna play with today it's called rare 1930 british newspaper advertisement so if you click on it it opens up okay else with a picture and that's 13 pages and then on every kit of mine if you click here on the video on that play button there this is the video where you can see every single one of the pages okay so you've got an idea of what you're going to receive so if, for example, we look at the Vintage Botanical Collage, which is available on my website now. So if you click on the video, you can see the page, page by page. Okay, that's four pages. And then the other one is the Lot from Far East. We're going to do a journal with this because it's a very big kit. It's got 16 pages, so it's very, very big. And it's all about Asia and there is a lot of backgrounds and ephemera and embellishment. So I'm very, very excited to play with this kit. Hope you guys will like it too. So yeah, if you want to put your hands on these three new papers, they are here. Yeah, so get your hands on this uh, new kit. VIP members, of course, don't forget to use your 30% off code to get 30% of the new kits as well. So in my head, what I wanted to do, because they all there is a lot of black and white in here, I want to create some embellishments and I'm going to use, I've got this forever. Oh, and it smells absolutely vile. <laughs> no, it smells really nice. Uh, if you don't like the smell of vintage, uh, well, you won't like the smell of this. <laughs> um, it's like a canvas 
cotton burlap sort of fabric um this is just uh some um scraps i bought online and then i'm going to use uh, i have to use up guys the uh t-molds paper dolls because i've got them forever and i don't really use them and i don't really know why but because of, there is a lot of black and white here i think we, it's going to be nice to do some layering and of course i need to use up the stickers this is the rabbon stickers from topology uh, because i want to give them a little bit of a jazz so I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long okay so basically what i'm going to do is cut them off put them on top of here i still want to the beauty of this is because you when you peel it off you get that really nice vintage grungy look okay so you just simply peel that and you get this really nice edge uh, so i do layering of that the image on top and the flowers Okay, simple as. So what I thought we would do, guys, I'm going to cut a few images off, but I'm going to speed it up. Okay, and we might do the sticker in together, but I'll be, yeah, let me, let me just speed it up. I have used this scallop scissors to cut the images because I didn't want to because everything is very fluid it's very organic I didn't want any like straight edges so this is why it's a bit like that and that's the look that I was going for so what am I going to do guys I'm going to um put them together so I'm probably going to use some dry adhesive I, I don't bear using glue um I don't really have any fabric glue and I don't think the Mod Podge will help. Um, so I'm just going to use some double side tape and then um, we're going to put the stickers on top, but we do that together. Okay, guys, done. Let me just tidy up a little bit. Do, do, do. Oh my god, guys, these are so much fun, and um, I love these rub on stickers because they're so versatile, and also because the images uh, from the kit are majority black and white, you can do any colors with it. Now, let me just zoom out so you can see them all. So the beauty of it, and I can guarantee you guys, the actual newspaper. It wasn't white it was this really nice creamy beigey color because discolored with the with time with the age so i love them and i look you know me i'm the man of the contrast i love the black and white and the text rigid against the floral and fluidity and the colors so i think as, as a as um contrast works really well together so that's one that's two and i was trying to strategically place the flowers in a way that it wouldn't cover the main pictures now my only concern is and i'm a bit scared of the um t molds paper dolls will cover too much the images they might not actually no that's fine so I'm going to use some foam pads because I want to try to get some, um, what do you call it, some um, dimension. So I'm just going to put some in here. Right, let's start with a big one. You see, I don't want to cover. What about if we chop her off? 
Can we chop her off? Can we chop the lady off? Sorry, Team Holes. But what about if we do something like that? And I'll just cut in the middle of... Because <laughs> I don't mind covering this side. Yeah, I think uh, that's, the, that's the case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. What do you guys think? And that, it's a shame because in real life, it looks quite nice because you've got a bit of contrast. What you can do as well, you can either put some, and I haven't got here on, um, on the desk to show you, some die-cut flowers in there, in between the lady and the actual embellishment but no we won't be doing that now in here i would like a guy because there's already a lady there oh my god look at this handsome fella there but again i think he's gonna get his legs chopped sorry i had to chop something else as well sorry but is it can be undone sorry but yeah I think yeah perfect so yeah I, oh, I need to release his arms <laughs> so yeah sorry I have to chop you know you're halfway you know what I mean let's pretend let's pretend you don't know what I mean <laughs> no right so let me put some foam pads and I think I'm gonna try to put two Yeah, it's nice to elevate. Oi, what are you doing there? It's nice to elevate um, the Tim Holtz dolls. Um, and although it's a different era, because I think the Tim Holtz are about the 40th. I might be wrong, uh, because this is between the, 30, the, the 30th and the 30th, uh, late 30s. But again, it's all blend. Look at this handsome guy. Even without his bottom half, he's still handsome. So that's that, that's that. And then now this one, I want something. We need something here. What I might do, I'm just going to put a, a face. I need him. Yeah, I need something that is not too big. And it's got that sort of shape. And this shape is perfect. Let me just... Um, so... I'm just going to cut. Yeah, perfect. Because you can still see the advertisement. You can still see the flowers. And of course, you can still see the guy. So, should we name them? Sometime up. Do you guys... Is it, is it just me being weird? Or do you guys think about this guy's names? So, he looks like a Philip to me. Don't you think? I think he's called Philip. She's called Betty. And oh, he's got to have a, such a romantic name. What's his name? Put a comment down below. Let's name the top fella. So, yeah. Uh, so we got two guys and a girl. So let's put let's put another lady. But in fact, no, we need another guy because there is a lady already in the picture. So let's find another guy. But it's got to be on a distinctive shape. It's going to no, it's too big. Uh, I think is is it between him and because they they got a very bulky shape. And it's something small. Actually he looks nice because he looks like his his hands is on the yeah. It would it will make it look like his hand is holding the flower. Yeah, that's a really nice shape. Let me just take 
it's a bit off yeah so i'm gonna position in a way like yeah i got it i got it i got it so i think can i put two maybe not let me just trim probably to be on top of his head just about oh use them all need to get some more so i think i'm gonna put one there and one around his arm perfect cut to perfection so 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 apologies if you hear some weird noises it's my belly my belly needs food i'm actually very peckish so after this video i'm gonna go and get some lunch so yeah so what i was thinking is to use his hand to give it the illusion that he's holding the big flower but then i want to mm, i'm not sure Ooh, is that too late Ooh, no uh no because i don't want to cover the lady too much i think it's gonna stay there right that's it done what do you guys think so we've got Philip, Betty, John. He looks like a John. And the mysterious guy is so handsome. Right, so let's name him. Leave a comment down below and name it. Guys, I'm going to go. I hope you liked this video. If you did, <coughs> excuse me, consider giving a really big thumbs up. Now, if you guys wish to purchase all my new kits, it's the link down below. So follow the link in the description box and um, can take it straight to uh, the new papers. Guys, I will see you on Wednesday for um, a VIP uh, video showcasing my July VIP papers. And um, guys, until then, until Wednesday, stay safe and well. Mwah.